All right, so if you're subscribed to me, it's likely you found me because of my workout reviews and I've reviewed a lot of programs from PGA Performance and ATG, Knees Over Toes Guy. And one thing that they've both been implementing in their stuff is a lot of ankle work. Obviously, Knees Over Toes Guy has been doing a lot of tibialis raises for ages. Um, and then you can do them body weight to begin with, but then you can also progress it up so that you have weight. But to do it with weight, you do need certain specific equipment, such as a tibialis bar, which is what they use in their gyms and like a lot, a lot, a lot of their trainers use. Um, and PGF Performance has implemented it in some of his programs, like the Durability Code, which I have reviewed on the channel. Um, and he uses his personal PGF fabric bands. Like he has small fabric bands that he uses and he attaches them to a plate. Now, I don't have either of those. I don't have a tip bar and I do not have a fabric band, but when I bought some resistance bands just off Amazon, usually if you buy resistance bands, they come with handles like this um, to be used for like, I don't know, like chest press type exercises or cable type exercises. And they also usually come with this door stop. Um, so that you can hook the band around the um, hinge of a door and do exercises using the door as the stabilizer. So when I'm trying to do any sort of weighted ankle work like the tibialis raises or resisted ankle range of movement stuff where I need extra weight, I will use these two pieces of equipment along with the plate to try and get that same movement. Now, it's not a perfect solution. Ideally, I think the fabric band would probably be the best alternative to having a tip bar. And the, the fabric band is good because you don't just have to go forwards and backwards, you can go around as well, which is what is happening in the durability code, which is what I'm currently doing right now. So, but with the solution I've got right now, I've got this five kilogram plate. I put the door stop through the middle of the plate. Right, as such. Then I tie it through itself. I bring it back around through one of the top holes. Now I'm not sure if all plates are designed like this, but you know, the one that I'm currently using is. So that's obviously the only example I can give. But yeah, so I tied it through itself. I've like made a knot in, I don't know if you can see here, but there's a knot here as the rest of the band comes through where this is. And then I put the door stop kind of back through this middle bit. So I've got a little loop here, kind of free. Now this loop is what I'm gonna put the handle onto. So, I then get the handle, and the handle usually has like a clip like this, and I clip it onto that little loop. And I make sure it's secure. And now what I've got, is something attached to a weight. Now, as you can see, it's swaying. It doesn't stay straight. It kind of still sways like this. So when you do put your foot through it, it doesn't always like stay straight. And obviously with a plate like this, it's quite high. You know, there's a lot of distance here. Whereas the fabric brand, you could always like reduce the size so that's closer to your foot. And then it wouldn't like hit the floor as you're doing the movement. But for just a makeshift solution for someone who's already bought some bands and you know these fabric bands especially pgf's one which i know a lot of my subscribers are probably gonna end up buying you know that might cost you a fair bit of money a tip bar is definitely obviously you can do the makeshift ones but again it could cost you some money so if you have this this is a decent solution to try and still get the work in whilst you're just using what you've got So if you don't have something to add weight to, you can always just use a resistance band, just tie it to something stable. And then you sit down and you loop the band, use the loop of the band to put your foot around it. And then you can do the same thing. So those are a couple of options for resisted ankle training if you don't have all the fancy equipment. Now I have done some other videos on other exercise alternatives which will be coming up on the screen shortly. And if you're looking to train with me virtually online then head over to www.elitesmartathletes.com where I have a range of training options there for you. And I do have an online program coming out very, very soon. That's what I've been working on and that's why I haven't uploaded a lot over the past couple months, but it will be coming out in the next two weeks maximum. 
So I'll catch you guys in the next video and until next time, stay blessed.